Hello, welcome to today's data visualization class. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use Python to create the geolocation map for the Chipotle store. I'm gonna promise you this is very interesting if you like Chipotle store or you like data visualization. So first question is why we want to visualize the geolocation data. It is because we want to communicate with our audience to uh, find the pattern over the space. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do today is to create this type of map and those uh, points. And this is about the, all the Chipotle store distributed across the mainland of the United States. So the logic to create this graph can be demonstrated in this way. Okay, first we need a map. And this is a map of United States continent. And then we're gonna have another information, and this information is a Chipotle stores information. And all of this information are stored in a CSV file or data frame. So take a look at this data set. We have several columns. The first column is a state, second column is a location, the third column is the address, fourth column and the fifth column are latitude and the longitude. So those are the basic uh, geospace information about Chipotle store. So one Chipotle store is in a certain role. So think about we have these two layers of information. The first layer is the United States continent, and the second layer of information is those Chipotle store. So once we combine these two layers information, we can combine uh, we can create this uh, map with all of these uh, Chipotle store uh, location. So these graphs tell us how uh, Chipotle store are distributed over the entire mainland of the United States. Okay, so let me stop here and we are going to uh, go to the collab and to see how we did that. Okay, so I'm going to open a new blank uh, notebook for the Google Colab. The first thing I'm going to do is to import the library, to uh, install a library. In order to create the geospatial map and the uh, points about Chipotle store, I'm going to first type pip install geopandas. So this GeoPandas is a library help us to visualize all this geospace information. So first we're going to uh, install that library. Okay, once I install that, I'm going to import some data to uh, this data set to help us to make visualization. So first I'm going to uh, click this file folder and then go to the main folder uh, content. Under the content, I'm going to upload three type of files. The uh, United States Census uh, map, this is one uh, SHP and SHX. Those two files help us to draw the ba basic layer of the map, United States uh, continent. Okay, another file we're going to use is Chipotle store. Okay, because we're going to visualize how these Chipotle store distributed over the United States. So these uh, three files are necessary for us to create that type of uh, geolocation map. Okay, next we're going to import some libraries. The first library is pandas. This is for our uh, data manipulation and uh, uh, data upload. And then we're going to import geopandas. Okay, we have two pandas here, right? Pandas and geopandas. And then we're going to import matplotlib. Dot pyplot as plt. Okay, and this is for data visualization. Of course, in order to read this HSP and SHX file, we're going to uh, add another two, uh, two rows, and this is from OSGEO import gdel and gdel.set 
configure option and we're gonna type shape restore x yes so this is just a configuration and for us to visualize the basic layer of the map okay so we can run the all of this code okay now we have the we have we complete the uh geopandas in store we import some libraries and we have all of this data set ready for the visualization so let's go to the next step the next step according to our logic we want to create the basic layer and the basic layer is a map of the united states continent okay in order to do so i'm gonna define a variable called state and that states states equal to geo pandas dot read file okay we're going to read the file and visualize the file so when when i read the file i'm going to read the maps file okay so that is usa states and sensors 2014.shp okay so basically we have we have two files here shp and shx so when we read the file we read the shp but we also need shx think about shx as a helper of file to visualize the map okay now uh, then we're gonna set the figure and the axis figure axis equal to plt dot subplots and we're gonna set the figure size let's say we're gonna set the figure size equal to mm, 40 by 8 okay because we want to have the uh, width that is 14 and the height that is 8 and next we can plot very simple states plot and we're going to pass x equal to x and then plot dot show okay let's see what happened okay very good this is a ba basic uh, United States of America map and this is continent uh, we want to improve that a little bit so this is just as a default color and default pattern okay so in order to improve this graph I want to create those green pattern and we can improve that we can write some argument inside the uh, subplot function okay so in this sub this plot function and we're gonna uh, we're gonna type the uh, edge color equal to black okay so when I when I set the edge color equal to black you can see that those black lines will separate all the different states okay next i want to um have the line width equal to one okay so uh maybe two if you want to emphasize these lines you can set different numbers so i'm going to set that uh, with one okay next i want to um, visualize the map and I want to use different color pattern to represent different states. In order to do so, I'm going to set another argument called CMAP. And in the CMAP, I'm going to pass greens. And if I set those uh, CMAP in, into greens, you can take a look at what happened next. Okay, now you can see that our map, all of the states are represented in different shades of the uh, greens. I think that is very uh, easy for us to uh, take a look at the uh, location at a different color. And you can, 
you can select a different color palette. Just uh, search the C map color palettes in Matplotlib. You will see a lot of different color palettes. Okay. Another way I want to uh, another way I want to emphasize the C is that you can see that uh, well outside the border of United States we are surrounded as by the sea, right? So I want to fill all of this uh, white color between the border and the uh, the outside of the border to the blue, so that I can draw like a sea outside of the United States continent. So what what can I do to achieve that? In order to do so, I'm gonna say x say a x dot set face color and in the face color I'm gonna type hashtag a2 d2 ff okay now you can see when I add another row of the code axis set face color equal to this uh, baby blue or ocean blue color I can fill the uh, fill the color of this border as blue so th so that you can think of that as the sea surrounded by the united states i think that is very interesting and useful okay so this is our basic layer of the map united states of the map and then we're gonna uh, visualize all of these Chipotle stores, okay? So in order to visualize that, we're gonna first read that Chipotle store CSV. So I'm gonna uh, define a data frame called DF and that equal to PD read CSV file and that is Chipotle store CSV, okay? And then we're gonna use df.head to check if we are successfully to load the data set. Okay, so far so good. We have the data set and you can see that we have longitude and latitude. And this, this last two rows are very important because the latitude and the longitude it, uh, together they form a vector so that in uh, this vector can help us point it to a certain uh, location in the United States and then we can visualize the stores uh, geolocation information okay next we're gonna visual we're gonna transform this data set a little bit so this is the original data set of the uh, AAA stores uh, they are stored as a CSV I want to further take care about this latitude and the longitude I want to combine them to form a vector if I form the vector, then Python would e easily to locate the location. Okay, so in order to do so, I'm going to uh, define another variable uh, GDF. Okay, this GDF equal to geo pandas. Okay, and then we're going to involve geo data frame. Okay, in this function, we're going to transform the original data frame and deal with those latitude and the longitude. Okay, so I'm going to first pass the DF. This is the target uh, data frame we, we're going to work upon. And then we're going to say geo geometry equal to geo pandas dot points from x y okay this function inside of this function i'm going to pass the longitude and the latitude so the first one is df dot longitude and the second argument is df dot latitude Okay, hopefully, hopefully I spell all of them correct. Okay, I think so. And then we're going to type gdf.head to see what happened. 
Okay, now after I use GeoPandas Geo Data Frame, we transform the original data frame into a, a better data frame that can be visualized. Okay, so the other those the original data set is the same, but we add another um, column called geometry, and these are the combined combined vector of the longitude and the latitude. So remember, if you put the last column, you need the longitude in the first place and the latitude in the second place. Okay, so that uh, Python can better uh, visualize where the Chipotle store are in the uh, United States continent. Okay, so this is the uh, CSV file. We create the geo geospatial uh, data frame. Okay, next we want to combine these two layers information all together. And first we're gonna use the previous layer, right? So we're gonna copy all of these uh, code in here. So basically what we're gonna do here is to create the first base layer of the United States continent. And then the second layer is the, all the Chipotle store. So the second layer is GDF, right? And we're gonna plot all of these locations, right? AX equal to AX and yeah, and that is the second layer. So first layer, second layer, we combine all together and set plt dot show. Let's say what happened. Okay, right? So we have the two different layers of information combined together to create these uh, Chipotle store, how they are distributed over the continent of the United States. And now with all of these settings, we can improve the graph a little bit. First, I want to change the color of the Chipotle store. If you take a look at the Chipotle store's logo, it is red, right? So I want to, um, change the color of the points because each point represent one uh, Chipotle store. I want to change that into a red. So how we do that? In order to do so, <clears throat> we're gonna set the plot function. In the plot function, we're gonna say color equal to red. Okay, let's rerun the code. Okay, now you can see that the color becomes red, right? And also you can set the marker. And the markers, uh, e let's say marker equal to a star. If I set the marker equal to star, now you can see that each of the Chipotle stores uh, sign become, uh, becomes a star. And you can use capitalized P so that they are they are the a plus sign. And you can search the marker in Maplot I think you can find all different kinds of markers. Okay, so I'm gonna stick stick with the uh, marker as P and then we can also adjust the marker size. In order to do so I'm gonna say marker size equal to 10. And you can see that the marker size becomes smaller, right? And you can set that as 30 so that the marker will become larger. It's basically, uh, you can change all of the different settings in the plot function so that you can uh, adjust that based on your preference. Okay, so this video is how to use GeoPandas and Python to create the uh, geospatial information about Chipotle. I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you next one.